Hello and welcome back to your advanced Java programming course and in this video we're going to be discussing the to lowercase method. Now in our last video we discussed the to uppercase method and we learned how to use it properly. In this video we're going to learn about the to lowercase which as you can guess is very similar. So we'll start by creating our string variable once again for the user to enter in a word. Now that we have created our variable we are going to create a second one where we're going to add the to lowercase method. So string result equals and just like the to uppercase method we type in the variable name word dot and now the methods name to lowercase and close with a semicolon brackets at the end of the method. What this should then do is change any uppercase letters that the user enters into lowercase. So let's now print out the result with a system out print line. Now that we have done that, let's run the program. We now have our input box, so let's type in something using capital letters. So H E L L and then a lowercase o, so we can see what the method does to lowercase letters. And when we run the program, we can see that all the capital letters are in the lowercase. Now before the video ends, we're going to discuss how these two methods, the two uppercase and the two lowercase, affect characters. And not letters or numbers, but actual characters, as in the full stop, a question mark, and so on. Well, this is a way to test it out. We just run the program again. And this time in our input box, I'm going to write a sentence with a few characters and a few numbers. So I'm going to write, hello, comma, how are you, question mark, and I'm going to add a number afterwards, let's just say 25. Now when we run the program, we can see the characters and the numbers are unaffected by the two lowercase method, but the capital H for hello has been put into its lowercase. The two uppercase and the two lowercase methods or what we call fixed methods, as in a specific type of data is affected, in this case text, being letters and uppercase and lowercase. So any other type of data that goes into this fixed method remains unchanged. So a fixed method only changes a certain type of data. So a method that isn't fixed will affect all types of data. We will touch upon this more in the rest of the section when we encounter some fixed methods and methods that aren't fixed. In the next video, we are going to learn about the isLetter method.